Hey fam, Leah here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video where I will be reviewing the Wet n Wild X Pac-Man Limited Edition Makeup Collection. Now listen, I have not been excited for any releases lately. Like nothing has been exciting me. Nothing has been worth me actually testing out and trying. But when I received this in the mail, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Like nostalgic. Nostalgia! It just brought back memories reminding me of an arcade like it would be so cool if they put an arcade game in here so this looks super fun I was actually so excited when I opened this so I'm excited to try her out today we'll see if this is up to par up to quality if the shadows blend really nicely if I can create a poppin look please please be a good makeup day okay cuz you know when you be testing makeup you just don't know how stuff gonna go so I hope this turns out good I hope everything blends well you know cuz I'm excited and I just don't don't want my excitement to be depleted okay please don't pop my bubble please wet and wild pull through for your girl so without further con jay if you are interested in tuning in to see me review and create a full face well not entirely a full face <gasps> oh my gosh i have wet and wild foundation we could do a full face low-key kind of let me go grab my wet and wild other makeup too honey then subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed tap that bell to be notified of my future uploads and when you tap that bell and not sure will <laughs> pop up click on options and ensure all notifications are enabled including my creator posts and stay tuned keep on watching and uh, i hope you enjoy this video <laughs> So let's get a good shot of the box. I believe this comes out on July 9th, if I'm not mistaken. I saw it on their Instagram page. I think this is like a cool collector's edition. Oh, great. They gave me a little pamphlet of all the prices so I can break it down for you guys. But let's see what's in here. It looks so colorful. Listen, this is up my alley. This is up my speed. Y'all know I love color. Color makes me so happy. Like, color is me. Color is my comfort, okay? So I'm excited to try this. We have, we have lipsticks. Oh my gosh, girl, get some focus, honey. This is so vibrant. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have, what are these, lipsticks? Oh, these are lip glosses. These are lip glosses? Okay. This is a blush, blush lighter. I guess a blush and highlighter duo, or maybe together. Maybe just a metallic blush. Who knows? We have a bronzer right here. This is a blush palette, the eyeshadow palette, of course. This is a lip scrub, and this is a lip balm. Cool, so we can do somewhat of a full face. I believe I have the stick foundation, so I'll use her today as well. Let's read the little note they have in here. Take a nostalgic walk down memory lane with the new Wet n Wild X Pac-Man collection where bright hues and iconic characters bring you back to the days spent in the arcade. Listen, this is exactly what it brought me back to. <laughs> Your favorite pop culture sensation is brought back to life with these colorful Pac-Man inspired products. So put your game face on, get ready to make a power play that will leave you scoring big bonus points in the beauty game, honey. Okay, wait, why don't I see you, girl? Let's get into the prices on the pamphlet. Listen, you got a sister, you have an Asian woman. Okay, inclusivity. Wait, it says it comes with two brushes. Where are my brushes at? Where are my brushes at, cuz? Oh my gosh, so y'all they got a secret compartment in here. So after I pulled out this, we have a little, we have this, okay? And then boom, we have some more products. Is this nail polish? Okay, we got, we have nail polish and then just two brushes. Oh, that's cute. This is such a cute package. I'm low key excited as hell to put this on my face. Okay, so we have the Game Over eyeshadow palette and this retails for $10, 9 dollars I'm just the type of girl that rounds up, so if I say $10, $9.99. Who has the time to say $9.99? $10, okay. This makeup brush is $8. It's really cute. Like, I would totally buy this and then not even open it and keep it. Oh, this is interesting. It's like balls. This is the bronzer. It's like balls, though. You would just spill this on the floor and lose it all. $7. The blush, $7. Same thing. It's like balls, if y'all can see it in there. Okay, anyways. The blush palette is $10. This blush brush is $9. These lip glosses are $6 each. I wonder how this will look though. Like I wonder if it's like super pigmented. 
because it would be ugly if it was sheer, right? The lip scrub is $5. The lip balm is $5. And lastly, ooh, this is, this nail kit is only $10. So you get all these polishes for $10, but I wonder if they're a good polish. I don't, I'm not really a polished person. Like I would rather go get my nails done than paint my nails myself. So I don't know if I'll test this out, but that's cute. You get all of this for $10. And if they're actually good nail polishes, then that's the steal. So this is a super affordable collection. Should I add it up? Let me just add it up real quick to see how much this whole collection would be if you were to buy like the whole thing. A few moments later. Okay, if you wanted to buy this whole entire collection, it would be about $80. I just rounded up. It was $76.90 on my phone. But you know, you gotta pay taxes and stuff. So if you wanted this whole entire collection, $80. That's a steal. Well, it's a steal if the products are good. So let's see if the products are good. Let's just start off with eyeshadow first. I'm going to quickly prime my lids with the Kevin Kwan Sensual Skin Enhancer. All right, we are nice and primed. This palette looks so poppin'. Like, I don't even know where to start, but it looks vibrant. Hopefully it performs well on the eyes. That's what I care about the most. That's why I'm not doing swatches in this video because it matters if it performs well on the eyes, not your arm, you know what I'm saying? I mean, swatches are cute. Don't get me wrong, swatches are cute. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, yes, let's, we're going to go into this shade right here. She's like going to be a poppin' brow bone highlight shade. Let me get to my brow bone highlight brush. I need a mirror. I need a mirror. Let me get a mirror. It's kind of like an icy, champagne-y, sparkly shade. Gonna pop that right on. Ooh! Woo yes! Yes! It's... Ooh, okay. It's very icy, so I don't need to put that much. I love a brow bone highlight, honey. And my base is wet. I didn't set it at all. I do that when I just don't know how shadows are going to perform. I feel like they always perform well on the wet base. It's like when you set it, it's when shadows start acting crazy. Okay, she's real cute. She's very icy. It's more like glitter, like pressed glitter, but like finely pressed glitter. I don't know, it's not really shadowy, which is fine because I love a really popping brow bone highlight, honey. Dang, what do I want to do? Okay, I'm wearing a blue head wrap. Do I want purple in the crease? Or pink in the crease. Pink in the crease will look good. Okay, let's do pink in the crease. Cause sometimes purple acts funny in the crease. Let's do pink in the crease. So I'm gonna take this pink shade right here. She's like a very hot pink. You know what brush I forgot was bomb was the Morphe M433. Ugh, so good. Let me clean it off real quick cause it has red shadow on it. Oh, finally I heard the air come on girl. It's so hot in my room. Summer is torture, okay? Because imagine your room being right above the garage and you have all these lights shining on you. Woo! Ciao! Yes, hot pink. And then what should go on the lids? We got yellow. Ooh, yeah! Wait, I just did yellow on the lids. Who cares? And they have like little Pac-Man like imprints in them. What do you call these stamps? Oh, so cute. Okay. Okay, when wild. Okay, she's showing up. We just gotta see how she blends out though. Let's just first pack it on. You know, things can be pigmented, but it's all about how they blend out. Like sometimes, like let's see how they blend out cause they be acting funny. Okay, I mean, she's pigmented. Yes, she is. All right, now I'm gonna start blending this out very slowly. What if we do pink and orange? Should I do an orange lid? And then a yellow lower lash line. But with this matte look good on the lower lash line. These are the things I think about in my head, just I never stop thinking. Cause I just want my makeup to come out good. Oh, this is actually bl blending really nicely. It's not patchy, it's diffusing. Okay, wet wild. Oh yeah, this ain't half bad. Oh, she is blending. Do you guys see that? It's like slowly diffusing. Well, first of all, this is a really good brush. I forgot how good this brush is. Especially fresh out the package. Like once you wash this brush, wash this brush, why do I always do that? Once you wash this brush, it's not as good, but like when it's unwashed, <laughs> which is so bad. Okay, this is blending out really nice. Okay, we well, yes, we could still blend a little bit more, but I got excited because I know what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna cut my crease. I'm gonna use this Makeup Revolution concealer, and then I'm going to place a little bit of this yellow, like in the first half of my lid, and then we're going to finish off the lid with this beautiful sky blue or teal. Is it teal? Yes, okay, anyways, let's cut our crease. I'm really impressed. Like, first of all, hot pink is like something that has to be kind of like a pressed pigment. It's pigmented and it like 
like blend it out like it's not patchy at all. Listen, Wet and Wild, y'all are upgrading your quality, like truly. The quality is being upgraded and still remaining affordable. Like I'm just so impressed, okay. All right, crease is cut. Now we're gonna go into this yellow shade and I'm kind of just gonna focus it really on the inner corner because I just love how that be looking. Listen, we gonna see how this yellow performs because I feel like yellow is like that hard shadow shade to like make pigmented. We're gonna use a Wet n Wild brush that came in this collection. Yellow's not that impressive. She's showing up a little bit. Okay, we gonna continue to pack it on. We just gonna keep it focused right in here. Yeah, this is like one of those shades you have to just pack. This ain't a shade to blend. Okay, I mean, as you pack it on, listen, I'll give it a pass because I know how yellow is that hard color, okay? I'll give the yellow a pass this time. As you continue to pack it on, okay. Pigmentation is building. All right, I just wanna focus it on that inner corner because I think that'll look dope. Let's move on to this like teal shade. We're gonna fill that up on the rest of the lid. Kind of like, you know, a watercolor eye. I'm using that same Wet n Wild brush. Another one of those sheer, sheer mattes. Does blue blend into yellow? I think it does. Doesn't blue and yellow make green? Okay. Oh, this color is pretty too. I'm low-key impressed. Like this, this shadow was only, I mean, this palette's only like $10. And you get mattes, honey, you get colors. You keep in my mood and high spirits. Now we need to blend these two together. Let's see if they blend. Whew, please blend, y'all. Please blend together. You're not blending that well, but you know I can work some magic. This is one of those shadows, like if you try to blend it, it like blends away. So I'm trying to like tap blend it. Oh well, at least the pink came through, okay? This is gonna be hard to blend. Oh my gosh, don't do this to me. Where's my blue at, cuz? I'm gonna go back into that hot pink, blend it into this teal. It's low-key turning purple. Should I add purple to the outer corner? I probably should. This eye probably looks a little dumb. It's okay, it's okay. I'm testing it out. This ain't trying to blend, y'all. It ain't trying to blend. Well, it kind of looks like tie-dye watercolor. Let me just put a little bit of this purple right here onto the outer corner. You know, to add some contrast. This isn't my best work. Do not clock me. It was going swell for a minute. Maybe I should have just did the whole eye blue. Do you think I should put blue over the yellow? Or should I put more yellow? You know, it kind of reminds me of Candyland. How does this look, y'all? Does it look crazy? I mean, it don't look half bad, huh? It don't look half bad. Let me do the other eye. Maybe it'll just come together. Okay, this eye totally looks better. Um... But you know, it's okay. I feel like the pink shade was the best shade. Well, the best colorful shade in this palette. When you pack it on the lids, it just does some funny stuff. Unless it's my concealer. It could be my concealer. But anywho, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my base makeup so we can finish off the lower lash line and apply some blush, some highlighter, some lip gloss, honey. I'll be back in two point. Five seconds. I always get makeup all up in my head wrap. Okay, if you're wondering what foundation shade I used, I used their shade Toffee in the Stick Foundation. Now, let's finish off the lower lash line. Um, I've been had this. This is the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Eyeshadow. If you've been like hip to my Instagram, I have been loving mixing the Milani um, eye toppers in with my shimmer shadows for my lower lash line. It just makes them stick better and it makes them pop. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I haven't used used the wet and wild liquid shadows mixed in with their regular shadows so we're gonna try it today so for the lower lash line i'm gonna take this orange shade it's so pretty it's the only other shimmer this one this one right here is a matte mattes just don't stick to my lower lash line so we're gonna take this orange shimmer shade i'm gonna mix it in with this liquid katsu this is not a part of the pac-man collection but we're gonna make it work. What's this color? Oh, it's called Goldilocks. Oh, cute. It's not really gold though, it's kind of green. Anyways, I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand like so. I was mixing it to see if it would work. I'm just gonna put a lot of it on the back of my hand. And then I'm basically going to scrape out the shadow and mix it in with this liquid shadow. And we're gonna work some magic. Ugh, I'll probably keep doing like this pop of color lower lash line all summer. It's just so good. It just looks so good. Okay, mix, mix, mix. Oh, yes, this is perfect. It's just like It kind of makes it so sheeny. Okay, let's I'm just gonna pop this onto 
Ugh, it just applies so good. So well, I mean, let me use proper grammar. It applies so well and it just sticks right to the lower lash line. I basically just paint this on and then it dries. And this is how I've been having my very vibrant lower lash line pops of color. I just like doing it with every look now. I'll probably do this all summer long, not even gonna lie to you. And there it is. Well, I don't know if the camera's picking up on it, but it looks so good. Follow me on Instagram if you want like a nicer picture photo of my beats. Cause when I like take photos on golden hour, honey, everything just pops. That looks so good, wow. I look so washed out. I don't know why, I don't know what's up with my white balance, but this looks really popping. And it just applies so quick and easy. It looks vibrant all day, like it doesn't even fade away. Shout out to my mind though. I just, I'm basically scraping the shadow out of the pan, like I'm just scraping her, okay? Man, this just applies like liquid orange gold. Ooh, this looks so good, y'all. It just looks so good. Oh yeah, I already applied bronzer because this bronzer that they have is just all shimmer. I don't like using shimmer bronzers. It just looks a hot ass mess on me. Let's just be realistic. You know, I don't wanna look a hot ass mess. Oh, y'all, my nephew here. I gotta hurry up. He's almost one. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Okay, eyes are basically complete. I just need to add lashes, mascara and lashes. So this is the eye look. What do you guys think? Actually, let me just zoom in real quick. These are what the eyes look like. Do you see it? Do you see the lower, the lower lash line, the pop? I can't really see it right now. Follow me on Instagram because I will definitely take a picture during golden hour. Like I've been doing, that's just been a theme for the summer. Golden hour photos, colorful looks, pops of color. That's just my vibe, okay? I think this looks pretty good, but what y'all think? I think I made these shadows work, honey. I made these cheap shadows work. I gotta blend that. Ooh, let me go blend that. Let's apply blush. I'll apply lashes and all that off camera. Um, Blush, blush, blush. We have two blushes. We have this bald blush. I don't know, it's just like balls. <laughs> But it's a pretty color. But just think, all this would drop on the floor. That's why I'm just like, ooh, this is a mess. But it, it's a pretty color though. And then we have this blush palette. I think this one looks pretty. It's more of like a, hold on. This one is more like a rose gold, peachy, corally shade. I think I like that one. I guess I'll use their blush brush that they gave me. Let's, let's like swirl it in here. This is just a mess though. Like you will, I, Listen, I know me and I know I'll drop this whole thing on the floor. Like, why balls though? Let me put it on my hand. Oh, it has a really nice sheen to it. I might use this as highlight instead. Well, this has sheen in it too. Oh well, psh, whatever. Okay, we look snatched though, honey. Face is sitting. Take this right here. Face is sitting. Face is making several points, okay. Oh yes. I don't even need to apply highlighter today. I kind of don't like when blush has a lot of shimmer in it because then I can't apply highlight. Well, I guess there's no point in applying highlight. Let me go into this pink one up top too. Oh yeah, this pink one up top has more color. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, I'm not really a blush, like, I just don't like when blush has a lot of shimmer in it because I do like to apply highlight as well and it just looks like there's too much going on on your face. When your bronzer has shimmer in it, your blush has shimmer in it, and then you have highlight. I don't even need to apply highlight though. This looks really pretty. Okay, okay, since I'm here, let's just try the balls. Apply this right there, I'll just bring it up. Oh yeah, this is actually very sheer. The balls? <laughs> Guys, this looks so pretty. Oh yeah, this is my highlight. This is popping. This is making several points. Okay, that's my highlight. That looks good. Ooh, this is gonna look so good in the sun. I just know it's gonna look popping in the sun. I kind of do my makeup in a way that it looks good in the sun and it does, honey. She sits. I used to hate blush. Did we all go through that phase where we just hated blush? I feel like we all did. And now it just completes my cheek. Like I appreciate a completed cheek now, okay? Shiny apples, they kind of look good, I guess. Damn, my nephew's making hella noise, y'all. I gotta hurry up. You know what? I kind of like this collection. I would definitely use all of this again. I'm almost out of this. I'm so sad. Morphe, send me another one, please, Morphe. Okay, lastly is lips. Let me actually swatch these. I'm curious to see what the blue looks like. This is a blue one. What's it called? Inky. Oh yeah, she's pigmented. Well, kind of. This is inky. But then like you blend it out and it's sheer. 
You would have to put this over top of a blue lipstick, I think. I ain't gonna wear that today. This is the one I'll probably wear. This one is called Clyde. It's more of a peachy, more wearable. That's the one I'll probably wear. I know, boring, huh? I'm boring, I'm so boring. <laughs> this one is called Blinky. Oh, Inky Blinky, Pinky and Clyde. Oh, that's cute. Duh, that's the name of the Pac-Man, huh? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh yeah, that one's nice. This blue one must be the one that's on the sheer side. And then Pinky, aw, that's so cute. This is actually a cool pink. I like this pink shade. I might wear this pink shade actually. I like it. No, I think I'm gonna wear a pinky. I kinda like the way it looks. Okay, let's apply pinky. I might look overdone. But this is actually super pigmented. These are glosses? Yes, it's a ghost gloss. No, I might have to change my, my damn light color right here because I'm just not matching. <laughs> Actually, no, I like the way this looks. I think this is making, oh yeah, I gotta blend this out, y'all. Clock me, okay, let me do my lashes. All right, I think that pink lighting is more fitting. So this completes the look I created with this Wet n Wild Pac-Man collection. I'm actually really impressed with Wet n Wild's price point. They are super affordable, and I think this quality is actually really good. Yeah, I had some trouble with, you know, the lid area of this eye, but I think this pink shadow blended out really well. This yellow shadow is popping through a little bit. I really love the color of this lip gloss. The blush looks good. Like, do you see my cheek? My cheek is like very sheeny. Even though you know I'm not really a fan of shimmer blushes, I do think the cheek looks really good. Everything is like really good quality. This lip gloss is super pigmented and it's like really sheeny. So I'm actually really impressed with this collection. It's actually, it's like a super fun and exciting and nostalgic collection. And if you wanna buy every single thing, honey, is $80 and everything is super affordable. So I'm actually really impressed. The one thing I didn't try, of course, was the nail polish and then the lip balm, the lip scrub, and this bronzer. I'm sure the lip balm is like, I'm sure it's just, oh, it's one you just dip into. I'm sure it's pretty good. I'm not really a person who uses scrubs, so I probably would not use the lip scrub. Maybe I'll like take this nail polish to like the nail shop and see what these colors do. I don't know yet, girl. But I would recommend checking out this collection. I checked on their Instagram. Let me just check one more time. It says it's coming out July 9th. So if you are interested in checking out this collection, I will be sure to link it down below in the description box. And all the shades of everything I use will be listed down below. As always, y'all know the drill. Y'all know I'm a thorough queen, honey. So I hope you guys enjoyed this beauty review. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new here and this is the first time being on my channel and seeing my face. I would love to see you in the next one. Subscribe to my channel and join me and the honeys, honey. I love you guys so much. And until next time, always remember to serve, honey. And I will see you in my next upload. Bye.